All right, let's get going. We actually got through that maze unscathed, which I'm very happy about. Almost got raped by Pyramid Head, though. Oh, what? What the hell? Oh, that was just my computer. I thought it was like something in Silent Hill. Um, can I read these? Pick it up. No, I guess not. Oh my god! Oh my god, what the... Okay, that scared the crap out of me. I do know what's coming up, though. It's the, uh, boss fight with Angela and the abstract daddy, a new enemy. He's an ugly bastard, isn't he? Okay, um... I'm not gonna use the handgun. I don't want to use my rifle. Let's go with the shotgun. Why not? Okay, this should be pretty easy. Shoot it, James. Oh, what the... God. Shoot it. Shoot it, James. Shoot it again. Okay. Oh, it's dead. Oh, I skipped the cutscene. Oh, I didn't mean to skip the cutscene. Okay, basically what happens in the cutscene is Angela freaks out and it is revealed that she was sexually abused as a little kid and that's why she has harbors so much resentment towards her dad. And this monster is representative of the hardships and suffering she endured as a child from her dad and this enemy is actually called an abstract daddy and she she we floor it and she finishes it off by throwing a tv on it and she yells at james and she uh assumes that he is a predator and she runs away she's mentally disturbed so we can't really fault her for that she went through a lot and we'll actually find out a little bit more about her towards the end of the game. Alright, let's go through here. I'm not entirely sure what's after this, to be honest with you. Huh? Okay. Wow, two open doors in a row. That's just mind-boggling. Oh my god! I forgot about this. Isn't there like a... This man was hung for the crime of kidnapping. I know there's a... Um... Puzzle we have to read first. Is it down here, maybe? There's like a poem we have to read. I'm not entirely sure what it... Is it right here? Okay, I think this is it. Dead men, dead... Yeah, this is it. Dead men, dead men, swinging at a tree. How many dead men do you see? Tongue turned blue and face gone gray. Watch them as they twist and sway. The first one killed the butcher man, then cooked him in the frying pan, saved him... Served him to his hungry guests and gave them seconds on request. The next one, with his smile and sweets, stole poor children off the streets. To men who dressed unsavory, he sold them into slavery. Okay... Breaking into a home at night, the thief had a nasty fright. Filled with his foolish head with ale, woke up in the morn in the county jail. The artist, with his daunting skill, tried his hand at painting bills, but caught in rain he was undone when the ink he used, had, he'd used did start to run. With promises of great return, taking gold he did not return, bundled up and out of sight, quietly slipped off into the night. Three houses into ashes burned. The sheriffs with no place to turn did spy a stranger to his town, locked him up, and beat him down. Okay. Um, I know for this puzzle, we have to figure out which of the six criminals is innocent. And I'm just going to take a second to go through here and really try to analyze each one of these. Wait, what? Oh, is there like a... Dead men, dead men, swinging a tree. How many dead do you see? Six feet long, six men wide. Round their necks, the noose be tied. Yeah, so we do have to figure out 
uh, which one of these guys is innocent and we're gonna go ahead and do that right now I'm just gonna like think out loud here the first one was killed the butcher man then cooked him in a frying pan so we'll say that's murder the crime is murder next one with his smile and sweet stole kidnapping because since he stole children off the streets breaking into a home at night the thief had he had a nasty fright so we'll say uh, robbery that's the crime this guy committed the artist with his daunting skill tried his hand at painting bills forgery no not forgery counterfeiting I would say this guy did because he uh, it was fake money with promises of great return taking gold he did not earn so this would be thieve, thievery three houses this is three houses he says that uh, this guy tor torched houses so we'll say this was arson did spy a stranger to his town the sh See, this one sticks out to me. I'm thinking it might be the guy who uh, was convicted of arson. Three houses into ashes burned. The sheriff, with no place to turn, did spy a stranger to his town, locked him up, and beat him down. So all the other poems give somewhat concrete evidence to the crimes that these guys committed. But this one's basically saying that three houses were burned down. The sheriff with no place to turn, meaning he had no uh, lead, no resorts, no suspects. He spied a stranger to the town, locked him up, and beat him down. So he's just using this guy's scapegoat. So I'm going to go ahead and say that arson is the innocent one. So we have to run back to the room with the dead bodies and see where the guy who committed arson, or the guy who was framed for arson, stands or lies, whatever you would call them. And then that's the noose that we have to pull. I actually really like this puzzle. It's very intricate. Come on, James. See, this is very creepy also, because there's dead people everywhere. Kidnapping. Thievery. Counterfeiting. Oh, come on, James. Swindling, whatever that means. Arson, so it's the middle guy in the innermost row. And then we'll pull the noose and see what happens. Hope I'm right. It took a lot of analyzing, I think. Yes, we'll pull it. Please work. Look at his face, it's so weird. And I spilled Mountain Dew all over myself. Hooray. Okay, and then... I think we have to go back to the room where the dead guys are. And see, like, if anything happened. It must be right, because there's nothing out here. I know... If, oh, look, we were right. What's this? I got the key of the persecuted. Anything else? Oh, the corpse's face. Okay. Cool not entirely sure where to use this one though this hallway is like they're identical I don't understand it ah oh what's this handcuffs you can't turn the handle unless the first remove the handcuffs okay well James hopefully that key we just got will do the trick key left by prisoner who was wrongly executed indeed he was May God rest his soul. Yes! Okay. Let's get through here. Okay. Oh, this is creepy. Locked, so it's find the key, so that means we have to go straight, right? I don't like this sound of dripping water. Oh, I love the music in this cutscene. Oh, my lord. Maria? Maria, no! 
James, I think you? Maria's gone again. Why? Why? Oh, I'm sorry. I hate this cutscene. It makes me so sad. Was it Pyramid Head again? It must have been. Oh, this this cutscene gives me chills. It really does. I actually have this tune on my iPod. Oh my god, see, it's... See, this is why I love Silent Hill. Not, not because of the murders and the death, but because it just makes you think. And it delves into human nature, human compassion, and Mary. what is right and what is wrong. Do you know what I mean? It's, that's why I love it. And the storyline is just so intricate and fascinating and deep. And I don't, it's very rare for a game to be like that. Can we actually go back in there? There's nothing else for me in this room. Oh, James. I feel bad. Is there anything else? I'm just really sad now, guys. I'm not even kidding you. Okay. Health pack. Cool. James, how are you feeling right now? Not too good. Oh my god, this is the... An epitaph... To epitaph is inscribed here. What if they meant to say inscribed? I don't know, whatever. Uh. This felon drank one last bottle of ale before he was executed and laid here to his eternal rest. Wow, that's really creepy and depressing. What's he looking at? Ooh, what's this? Shotgun shells, thank you very much. The name of the tombstone is too scratched up to read. What's this? I'm just gonna go around and investigate the tombstones. There's a name and cried on the tombstone. Miriam K. Traitor. Oh. Creepy. Too scratched up to read. Ooh! Is this something for me? Yes, it is. Shotgun shells. Cool. There's a name and cried on the. Walter Sullivan. Oh, isn't that the uh, villain from Silent Hill 4 The Room? I think it is. That's Nath Place. <laughs> the name on the tombstone is too scratched up to read. Is there more items over here? Shotgun shells. Oh, come on, can't I read any of these? What's he looking at? What's this? There's a deep hole here, but there's nothing inside. There's a name inscribed. See, maybe they inscribed and they changed it to inscribed. I don't know. Eddie Dombros. That's very weird. Oh, come on, James, read it. Angela Orozco. Ampool. And last but not least, James Sunderland. This actually is very symbolic of qualities that are possessed by James, Angela, and Eddie. And if you guys didn't realize it, the uh, tablets that we found in the prison were symbolic of Eddie, Angela, and James. Like, Gluttonous Pig was Eddie. I, don't, I can't remember exactly what the, uh, the names of the other ones were, but they were absolutely references to... What did I just go into the inventory for? They were absolutely references to the three characters in this story. All right. I don't like this long hallway. Oh, Tablet of the seduct seduct Seductress. That's Angela, and I think, can't remember the last one. The one that would be symbolic of James. Oh my god, this is the Eddie boss fight. Oh my lord, it is. Eddie? What are you doing? What does it look like? He always busted my balls. You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. <laughs> I'm sorry, Maybe I shouldn't have laughed at that. Right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, Ugly, pretty, it's 
it's all the same once you're dead. And the corpse can't laugh. See, he's actually right. As From crazy as he on, is, that's right. If anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Eddie, have you gone nuts? I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Oh no. Hey. I know I it's coming, but I really don't want to do it. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. Oh god, okay. First of all, let's get straight into the inventory. We'll use a health drink. And I'm getting out my hunting rifle for this bitch. I don't even care. Oh! Oh, you bitch! Oh, we... Okay, what's our health? Looks like... Alright, shoot him! Okay, now he runs away. Gives us some more time to reload. Oh, we don't have that many bullets left, do we? We'll use a health drink. Anything laying on the ground? Yeah, he is looking at something, actually. If I could see it! Ah! Okay. Rifle shells. Thank God we actually need these. Shotgun shells. I'm not going to use the shotgun on him. I'm going to go straight for the rifle. Alright, let's follow him. This is creepy. It really is. Do you know what it does to you, James? When you're hated, picked on, spit on, just because of the way you look, after you've been laughed at your whole friggin' life. See, guys, this is a lesson. Be nice to people, or they may turn out to be serial That's killers. That's why I ran away after I killed the dog. Ran away like a scared little girl. Yeah, I killed that dog. It was fun. Tried to chew its own guts. Oh my god. Finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He does he mean pyramid head? The dog. <laughs> oh man. He's gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Don't get a hold of me, now. James. This town called you too. Oh, you and me are the same. I love that quote. We're not like other people. Don't you know that? Let's party. Yeah. All right. Well, you know what, Eddie? You are crazy. Four. Okay, reload, reload, inventory, James, okay. Oh, he shot me. Son of a bitch. Okay, reload. Oh, we should be fine. Okay, James. I'm like matching X right now. I'm not even kidding you. Ouch. What's my health look like? Oh, this bitch, okay. Uh, let's, let's use an ampoule. Why not? I think that makes us like slightly invisible for a second. Where is he? Come here, come here, come here. I have a surprise. It's called Rifle. Oh, oh. Shoot him. Yeah, there we go. He's dead. Eddie? That's what you get when you mess with Jake and James. Eddie? Mostly James. I... I killed a... a human being. See, I also think this is incredibly interesting because James just got over saying how even after he is forced to kill someone, after Eddie came after him, he's still remorseful about it. He, like, did you, he said, Mary, I killed a human being. Did you really die three years ago? I, I just I love this game so much. I love the storyline. All right, let's uh, equip the 
gun, and we're gonna get out of here. I think this is the end of the prison section. Can, can I talk to Ed? I guess I can't talk to Eddie. Did it today? He's dead. Eddie's talking days are over. How do I even get out of here? I'll stop looking at him, James. It only makes it worse. Wrong way. Okay. Stop it, James. I said stop. Go out here? Okay, yes. I'm trying to think where this leads us to. Oh my god, we're outside. Thank the lord. Oh, it's a save. Alright, guys. I'm gonna call this a session. We actually made quite a bit of progress, and I'm very glad that I uh, started to replay Silent Hill 2. Um, we're going to actually, in the next episode, start the hotel stage. It is the final stage of the game, and give it about one or two more episodes, and we should be done with the game. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.